San Diego County saw more cases of the flu in 2022 than in any other year over the past decade. That's according to data from the county's Health and Human Services Agency. In just five weeks last fall, there were more cases than in all of 2021. So there's no doubt the flu hit San Diego early and hard this season. But experts are still debating why. Theories range from decreased immunity due to COVID and increased socializing to an earlier flu season in other parts of the world. There is, however, one obvious cause, says UC San Diego epidemiologist Rebecca Fielding Miller. People stopped wearing masks. So obviously a lot of that is behavioral. People were masking. People were being really conscientious about airborne spread of disease. People weren't gathering as much, especially in enclosed spaces. And this year, you know, that is different. Um, and so we're seeing this huge resurgence of, of the flu that we haven't seen in the last few years. She says another factor could be kids in school without masks. Last year, when we had such high levels of masking and kids were back in person for the most part, but we still didn't see this spread of flu. Almost half of the 2022 cases were in kids 17 and under. Usually, there are a lot more cases in adults than children. Very few people got the flu during the first two years of the pandemic. So that could make us more susceptible now that we're back to gathering in person without masks. So says Dr. Davy Smith, an infectious disease specialist at UC San Diego. You can think of the community as a, a gas tank full of immune responses. And every year when flu season hits, it, it infects a whole bunch of people. And if they live, they have lots of immune gas in the tank for our community. So it fills it up every flu season. And it wanes over the year when flu is not circulating. And then when flu hits again, it tanks it back up. But he says for the past two years, the tank was on empty. So therefore, when flu hit this year and there was more social interaction, last masking, that left more of our community open for infection. And it really let it. Uh, spread very quickly. But what might be true for a community isn't true for an individual. Fielding Miller says your immune system isn't like a muscle that got flabby without exercise. You don't have to exercise it all the time. Not getting sick for three years just means you didn't get sick for three years, which is really nice. It doesn't mean you're setting yourself up to get more sick later. It's important to note that the current flu season is far from over. It usually goes through March. And experts say it still remains to be seen whether the season will end up being historically bad. It could just be a normal season that peaked abnormally early. And we all noticed because COVID has made us hypervigilant. That's the thinking of Shane Crotty, an infectious disease expert at the La Jolla Institute of Immunology. My bet was that it'd be a fairly average winter for a number of these diseases, but that the perception would be it's a really bad winter season because um, such a high percentage of the population is now on high alert, right, for respiratory symptoms. People are also wondering whether this year's flu season will make next year's easier. That's a difficult question to answer. For one thing, flu viruses are different every year and hard to predict. Smith of UC San Diego goes back to the gas tank analogy. He says the current season could possibly fill the community tank. Well, maybe it increased the amount of immune gas that we have in our community. Um, that'll last us a little bit better for the next year, and we could, and we might get into a a, re, a, a more predictable cycle for our flu. Um, however. What I've noticed anything over the past two and a half years with COVID is that um, not to make predictions. There is one thing Smith says individuals can do to ensure their immunity gas tank is as full as possible. Get a flu shot. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.